guys, uh, welcome to another uh, Mainmeister Look At video. Today I'm going to be looking at this. Yep, it's one of these, uh, let's zoom in a wee bit, one of these all-in-one plug-and-play TV type things um, that Nintendo, well quite a lot of companies were knocking out. This one is a Nintendo One plug-and-play TV game, it's called by Namco. It's got some quite nice side up actually. Now I've got to say, I mean I got this second hand for, was it 10 quid? It actually feels really really sturdy. Some really nice artwork. It's going to go on into it. It does take, is it 3 or 4 AA batteries. Um, it's obviously got the joystick. Feels quite good. It's got a reset button which presumably is for changing the game. And you've got a a fire button. So yeah, and you've got the on off switch like so. Now it does come with a rather long... Is that going to zoom in? Oh, it's not going to zoom in. Is it? it has got a rather long cable like so. It has two of these... Focus, there we go. It's got two of these things that plug into most modern TVs, so let's plug this thing in and see if it's shite or not. Okay, let's power this thing up. Switch on, gives a rather uh, nice clear picture. You can see it's obviously, I've got it plugged in through the SCART. So yeah, what we've got here, we've got Pac-Man, Galaxian, Rally X, Dig Dug and Bosconi in that game that nobody's actually ever plays. So let's kick off with Pac-Man. Now, my mate, Mr. Studley, who is a perfect Pac-Man champion, he actually showed me how to uh, how to get the wee safe spot in the maze. So I'm going to see if it works in this. That'll test whether this is actually emulated or actually written from the ground up. I am getting the feeling it's probably emulated. So anyway, let's go. Sound sounds not too bad. Now that is the safe spot, but you need to wait for the monsters. Okay, it didn't work there. What you need to be able to do... Is uh, you need to wait for the monsters to go out and patrol the outside of the maze. Which I'm not doing a very good job of here. Ah, bollocks. Sound is slightly different from the arcade. Quite say though, the controls feel pretty good. <laughs> Dear me, let's go again. Yeah, sounds slightly different. Game wise, it feels pretty spot on to me. Right, let's see if I can hide here. Is it going to work this time? Nope! Yeah, basically, what happens in this game is the monsters they move out and patrol their uh, respective corners where the purples are. They, they do that for about 30 seconds, then they move into the middle of the maze and they'll actually chase, it's like chase mode, they'll actually chase you. And apparently it's when they're on the patrolling mode is when you can actually hide. So I'm going to try it now, see if it works. Well technically the mode at the moment is runaway mode, I don't know if that makes any difference. Right, okay, but that bit I'm going to there is where you actually hide. Now, if I didn't know different, I would say that this is actually emulating the game, although the sound is slightly not right, I would say. I 
Come on, you, I don't believe that. I'm not a big fan of this game, I must admit, I really am. I'm getting my excuses in early, I know, but I really don't. I'm not a fan of that game at all, but I'm going to shut these blinds a wee bit, because you can see a bit of light coming in, hang on. Right, that's hopefully better. Right, let's take a look at something else, so press the reset button. And up pops the menu. Galaxy, now I love this game. I should be able to tell how accurate this is. Right, well, right away, the sound is nothing like the arcade, there's fewer stars, graphically wise it looks not too bad. But the fact that there's less stars, I'm thinking this isn't emulating. It's actually been written for the hardware. Ah, bollocks. And you can see there they've put the score at the side where it's obviously the arcade version of this. The score, uh, <laughs> the score appears at the top, so I think it's safe to say that this isn't being emulated. Ah, oh, come on! I'm absolutely hopeless. That's going to be game over. It certainly is. Let's go for one more go. I noticed through the, through the viewfinder there's a lot of, kind of light at the bottom, which is strange because there's no light appearing on the uh, on the actual TV, so I'm not sure what's happening there. Also feels a wee bit slower than the arcade one, and as usual, as I speak like that, I always end up losing a life. Yeah, it certainly misses the sound that the arcade has. The control wise, it's actually pretty good. Right, anyway, let's take a look at the other games. 
Right, Rally X. Okay, it's pack my enemy cars basically. Now they're being you to collect the flags and these cars by egos chase you but you have got a secret weapon, you press a fire button and you drop smoke which briefly distracts the cars like so. Now you can see it at the right hand side of the screen there is a little sort of radar that shows you where your uh, the flags are. Yep. You need to watch out for the rocks. So what I think we need to do is come down the bottom. I think you've only got so much smoke you can use, so now that actually feels Pretty spot on in arcade one, but I'm not a big Rally X fan, so bollocks. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big Rally X fan, so I really can't comment with any amount of knowledge. But I've got to say, for I mean, I think these cost well, they did cost about I don't know. 15 quid or something. Um, for 15 quid, it's actually quite a nice uh, little collection. It's a nice like, it's a bit of hardware as well. <laughs> yeah, that's Rally X. Let's take a look. Is there how many more? Two more? No, one more. But scoring him. Oh, and Dig Dug as well. So. Yeah, let's look at Dig Dug. Graphically, this looks pretty much spot on. Now, apparently, the way to big points in this game, though, I'm not very good at it. Again, is to to get them to follow you, try and get multiple enemies to follow you. Although, don't die like that. Then, what you want to do is you want to lead them. I'm going to die here, I think. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of this. Right, let's just go for the, the easy option. Yeah, you can blow them up and they explode. Watch out for these guys, is it Figar I think it is? And once you've only got one body to go, they try and leg it out of the screen like so. Right, you come to daddy, yeah, you can drop a rock in their head like so. But where the big points come is... Don't get fried like that. Nope, that's a bad idea. Let's go again. But that's pretty spot on, I would say. The sound is slightly different. Come on, follow me please, follow me. Uh, that wasn't very good. Ah, balls. Yeah, I'm just trying to get greedy. I could actually kill them for easier points like so. But then where's the fun in that? He's going to try to make a fight for freedom. Not so fast, Buster. Yeah, that's Dig Dug. That's pretty good. And the last one is a game that nobody has ever heard of, or indeed ever plays. Bisconian. 
I've heard of it, but I can't see I've even played it ever. 1981. Now considering how well known Namco's uh, games are. Right, so you appear to be able to shoot out of both ends. What's the idea of this? Have I got to try and destroy this or something? I'm really not too sure. Oh, you also don't crash into it like I did. Was that good? I'm not quite sure if that was good or bad actually. Ah, wait a minute. There's a... Uh, bollocks. There's a little radar thing which I never spotted. Right, so what I want you to do is fly towards... Am I getting points? Yeah, I do get points for killing these. As I do these little seagull things. Ah, it's interesting why nobody really talks about this game. You know, everybody knows Galaga, everybody knows Galaxian, Dig Dog, Moscone, and hmm, not quite so much. Right, is that the second level, is it? It's a wee bit easier to fire, fire it in both sides. Yeah, and listen guys, I can see the battery on this uh, camera is at 2%, so it's going to run out in about 30 seconds time, so I'm going to end this video now. This is a look at of the little Namco um, plug and play TV thing. I got it for 10 or they go pretty cheap on eBay. Um, pretty good, as you can see there, the emulation isn't bad at all. I don't think it's arcade perfect, um, but for a tenner, and the actual, the actual hardware itself, it's a really nice solid little thing and it looks quite nice, it's got really nice uh, side art. So anyway, that's it guys. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching my Man Meister channel. Please feel free to like, comment or subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.